in 75. I still worked in the post office. God, at that time I worked with a man called Con. Ah, he was a, he was a lovely singer. A beautiful singer. A tenor. And he was a lovely man. Yeah. We were, that Christmas we were in, in, in the sorting office. We were working the uh, nights. Oh, it was a cold, damp oh, place. Miserable. Oh, miserable. Cold, damp place. The last sort of place you want to be in December, I can tell you. <laughs> and the boss, he was a big lump of a cork man. By the name of Dickie Walsh. <laughs> he was a tough man. He was fair. If he saw you not working, he bollocked you as quick as he would look at you. I remember we were working in the far corner with our backs to the rest of the room. Con started singing. Oh, oh, night. Under his breath, as he was walking away, without even noticing, I joined in. Everybody stopped working. We just started listening. Suddenly, the door behind us swung open. An in walk sticky, lets a roar. Oi, you two! He was that again. I was surprised he didn't bollocks us there and then. Anyway, Con started singing straight away, started again. And I joined in, not to be cocky, but I felt we were singing. And everybody sat there and listened. And Dickie, filling the door frame to the office, just a little smile in the corner of his mouth. And everybody just sitting, listening. When we finished then, it was all over. You still see them? Ah, sure, then, sure, then Dickie let a roar. Back to work! It was all over. Con, I would see him. He got a heart attack at that Christmas. Oh. Never even made it to the New Year. Oh. Wasn't long after that that I finished. The place just Never said it. Felt the same, never. No con. Gotta miss him. <laughs>